what do you see in me? Someone or some people, I've heard this so many times that I've lost track of the origin, said that what you see in me is a reflection of what you see in yourself. New Age groupies have grabbed this idea and used it to exonerate themselves of anything and everything that they might possibly be guilty of. They will make it clear to whoever wants to listen that they are simply reflecting what they see in the people around them. If they are selfish or they have a poverty mentality or anything else that they regard as less than perfect, they simply point the finger at the nearest person and ignore the fingers pointing back to them. This attitude has become a means of avoiding any introspection because they regard themselves as mere mirrors. The thought that the people they are in contact with might just say the same about them doesn't even cross their mind. Are you one of these culprits? If you do believe that you are simply reflecting the flaws or weaknesses of the people you come into contact with, now is a good time to turn the tables and see yourself as the originator rather than the reflector. You won't die. You will take ownership of what you think, say and do. You will grow and be happy. Rumi said, many of the faults you see in others are your own nature reflected in them. You cannot change other people. You can firstly accept yourself as perfect for this purpose and then change yourself into a better version of you. Here is another approach to this belief that is too often neglected. If what I see in you is a reflection of myself, then surely the beauty I see in your eyes, your smile and your soul are a reflection of myself? If what you see in me is goodness, kindness and compassion, is that not also a reflection of yourself that you see in me? What are you reflecting to the world? What would you like to first love about yourself and then change about yourself to make you a better version of the person in the mirror? Namaste.